Alrighty, everybody! Hello, and welcome to this 1v1 expert match. I am Jade Arrow, and today we have Hera versus ACCM in a Byzantine Mirror match. And this is on the Escape Champions League map pack. And it looks a bit like uh, something like. Uh, not Ghost Lake, but uh, maybe Baltic. I don't quite remember what this map is called. Um, but right now it's a little bit laggy, but it should clear up pretty soon. But while that is happening, uh, for the map being a big lake in the middle, we're going to have uh, some good water fights, and easily wallable on both sides, as these lake maps usually are, and ACCM is actually nabbing these sheep on the side, and he could find two more if he goes a little further south, and that's not a big advantage, but what the heck is this? What is this? ACCM? has so many sheep over on his side. I don't remember seeing this. But, wow, that is... How many sheep is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sheep up here. And that's not counting the ones he already grabbed from down below. He has so many sheep. Whereas Hera does not. That, okay. This makes the game interesting here. Because if ACCM comes up here and grabs all these sheep, he doesn't really need to apply so much pressure to uh, the water. Because his ships aren't going to be as necessary. Now, obviously, he's still probably going to want to keep some presence on the water. Because if he loses the water, then he can easily be landed. But it's not as necessary. And he's actually leading Hera right over here with his scout. And uh, whoever gets control of all these sheep is going to have not a huge advantage because of, you know, all the all the fish on the lake. But small advantage. And, oh, wait, hold on a second. Hera's grabbing all these sheep. Oh, wow, I'll bet he's happy to see all these things. Oh, yeah, he's going and... He's going to see these uh, sheep just here. Yeah, he sees them with uh, the sheep that he's sending back. So he might loop around and grab them, and he'll find those ones. So Hera actually gets all those sheep. So this, this is just a bizarre start. And it looks like uh, ACCM did lose a uh, villager there luring in a boar. And it's not too bad. But, uh, Hera has actually chosen to scout ACCM's base rather than going over and grabbing the sheep. And that's just fine. It's really not too big of a deal. But that is still a lot of food that uh, Hera is going to get. And Hera the first one up to the feudal age. And that means that it gets a bit of a head start. It's not too bad. It's only, you know, maybe 10 seconds worth of... But already, with 50% on the galleys from Hera, uh, whereas ACCM has just barely started with uh, his fire galleys. Uh, a bit of scout war here, ACCM did get the first hit, so he will win that engagement if, uh, if they just don't use the hills. But they're expert players, they're going to be using the hills, and ACCM is running into that little pocket there ensuring that Hera does not get to the top of the hill. But Hera is going to chase ACM away. And the scout's not too big of a deal. But uh, ACCM is going to lose his scout. And that means that Hera could potentially block a wall off over on this side. But he's going to be so close to losing his scout. But in the meantime, water fight's up here, and Hera is clearly winning this fight, really. Two fire galleys 
down with a fishing ship already. More fire galleys coming out. But Hera is also sending reinforcements over. And this is... This is kind of boring. Really. Like... I really preferred the... Uh, older meta where we would get some nice galley micro wars going on. Instead of just these fire galley spams. It's really annoying and that is a... Uh, common opinion. In the community. But... You know, what can you do about it, really? Um, but this this fight's gonna go on for quite a while. And looking back at home, just to try and see what these guys are doing, uh, Hera does have quite a few on gold right now. And ACCM does as well. And that's to keep up their uh, ship production. And that's... Really what you're going to see on these water maps is once you hit Feudal Age, almost all your villagers go to wood and gold, and that's to keep your ship production up. And ACCM is actually repairing one of his ships, and that is actually going to give him the advantage here. Uh, Demo Raft actually coming out for ACCM, it's probably not going to do all that much. Okay, I just kind of paused to see what would happen. Uh, but if it gets a nice shot off... Okay, it only hit that one, but it did take a good chunk of HP out of it. And... A uh, demo raft shot on a group of fire galleys could easily change the course of this fight. And another demo raft coming in, it's gonna hit both of those. And both of those go down. And now... It swung back in ACCM's favor. And this is kind of the, the most interesting thing about... Uh, the fire galley wars is it can swing back and forth really quickly just with few demo shots but I think I still prefer uh, the galley the galley wars that uh, was more prominent and something interesting is Hera has already walled up both sides whereas ACCM is just starting to wall and that's not too big of a deal because uh, these guys are just focused on water. They're not really concerned about looping around the side. But if ACCM doesn't get these walls up, then uh, you could find a few units from Hera in his base that would be really annoying to deal with while still trying to win these fights. And... Okay, this is good awareness from ACCM. And it's a small thing that just happened really quickly, but ACCM was clumped around attacking this dock. And then, as soon as he saw a flag appear on the dock, he split up his fire galleys, because that could have been a demo raft, and could have done a ton of damage to these fire galleys. So just immediate response, it's a great awareness, and that... Uh, I really could save a lot of HP on these galleys and just dancing around doing some nice circles with uh, galleys here while uh, just waiting for repairs right now. And really it's... Uh, at this point, unless one of these players gets a really distinct advantage, it's kind of going to be a race to see who can get to Castle Age first and get the uh, fire ship upgrades. And it looks like Hera's gonna click up right now. There we go, Hera's clicked up. And that means that he's gonna have the upgrade faster. But right now, big engagement going on. The demo rafts come in. Hera had one less demo raft, so took a lot of HP off of these galleys. And it's really close, but I think ACCM is going to clean up this army. And yeah, these are all low HP, so ACCM uh, kind of pulled that one uh, in his favor there. He's going to lose another galley, but then Harris just going to lose that one. So now the numbers are in ACCM's favor, but as soon as Harris gets to the Castle Age, that's going to change really quick with the 
uh, fire shift upgrade that's going to immediately come out. So, uh, just a few more seconds and then uh, we're going to see the fire, the fire ship upgrade. But uh, three docks right now for Hera and ACCM also on three. And probably not going to see them add in any more docks anytime soon because uh, they just have the optimal uh, number of villagers right now to be able to sustain production. Alright, so here we go. Hera hits Castle Age, and there we go. It's the War Galley upgrade, but um, if you don't know, War Galley upgrades not only your galleys, but it upgrades your demolition rafts and your fire galleys to demo ships and fire ships. So, yeah. Uh, if you were noticing over here on the side, as soon as Hera hit the Castle Age, ACCM started using the market a whole lot just to get up to Castle Age. And yeah, here's the fire ship upgrade, and that means Hera's easily going to clean up all these fire galleys. And now has a big technology advantage, and I don't think ACCM can keep up for now. He's adding in a fourth dock just to try and sustain production. And just to keep up with the technology upgrade. But advancing the Castle Age himself, that fourth dock could turn it into his favor. But that's only if he can keep his ships alive. Being chased down right now and could lose them all. And could lose his docks before they can be of any use. So he really just has to buy himself some time. And I think, I think that uh, one of these players should probably go around the side. If Hera goes around on this side, or on either side, then uh, he could do some pretty big damage to ACCM's economy. But since the War Galley upgrade has come in, Hera is going to start making some more galleys. And that's going to be a major boost to uh, his army. And which dock is ACCM researching for Galleon? Okay, it's in this dock. And he's got to be careful not to lose that, but it's going to come in just fine. And yeah, he has no worries of losing that. But he does lose two of his docks, which is, well, obviously enough really bad. And he's throwing down another dock, but he is a little short on wood, and once he loses this dock, which is actually repairing right now, uh, but if he loses that dock, then he's going to be behind in, uh, in his wood economy. Hera still only has three docks. I would have thought that Hera would add in another dock right now, but Hera's actually housed at the moment on uh, 70 population, and Hera is 10 vils ahead, so I would have thought that he would have the wood economy to add in another dock, but uh, maybe Hera's just not too concerned about that. And that dock does stay up for ACCM, which, uh, which is good, because then uh, he doesn't have to waste the wood to rebuild another one. And University goes up for Hera, which means the Ballistics upgrade is going to come out real soon. And that's going to make his War Galleys a lot more accurate and nearly impossible to miss move and target, which is going to mean that ACCM is going to have a lot of trouble uh, microwing his ships away. But he's going to lose this dock probably. He does have quite a few fire ships out, and he's going to try and take an engagement right now. And he's going to send Hera running. And these fire ships are chasing him away. He does lose a couple of them, and a couple war galleys go down for Hera. Uh, he's trying to micro it away, and should probably consider adding in a demo ship just to get rid of all these pesky fire ships. 
uh, right now, just trying to micro it down and doing a fairly good job of it. Does lose quite a few ships. And is going to lose another one for free, almost, right there. And now he's kind of backed into a corner. And can he micro all of these down? Probably. Uh, he's going to lose at least one more ship. Two ships going down. Three. And probably just going to lose three of them. But... That's still... Whoa! I did not see that coming. Three ships going down instantly for Hera. And reinforcements come in. Hera's going to lose their whole army. And now... He's... Kind of just trying to rebuild his entire army back up. Adding in two more docks. So here is now up to five. And there's the ballistics upgrade coming in. But ACCM took a really nice engagement there and cleaned up all of those war galleys. So it's war galleys from Hera and uh, fire ships from ACCM. And it's going to be all about numbers right now. Whoever gets more ships is going to win these fights, and right now it's ACCM. The yeah, AC's got a couple less fire ships, but they do so much damage against these war galleys. Backed into a corner now. Picking off a couple war galleys could get a couple more if ACCM targets the weak galleys. And just look how strong these fire ships are. Taking out all of these war galleys. And now Hera's kind of in a bit of trouble. Hera does have a 30 bill lead, but is losing the water. And now it's... We're going to have to see what Hera decides to do. If... Uh, if he decides to go around the side with some units and attack the economy, then... I could do that. If he tries to keep fighting on water, I don't see how this could go well for him with uh, with being so far behind in military. But it looks like he's going to keep trying to fight this on the water. And does he even have any military at home? He doesn't. Uh, Hera is up to, I think, three town centers, yeah. There's up to three town centers back at home, and there's just two for ACCM. So, I, I don't know. It's really close right now. And obviously the score is pretty deceiving. Here is about a thousand points in the lead, but that's mostly economy. I think ACCM has a slight military advantage at the moment. And I think right now, uh, Harris should probably be advancing to the Imperial Age or uh, considering doing it and getting whatever upgrades I uh, can for uh, ships and instead building a castle. And I'm curious as to where this castle is going up. I, I'm not sure where this castle is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is it on the map? Oh. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay, so a castle right there. And on a hill, which is nice. And also makes sure that ACCM can't... Sneak around that side. And now Hera's advancing to the Imperial Age. And also getting scale barding armor. Huh. I think... I think at this point... Hera's kind of conceding the water. And going to be going for a sneaky land attack. Which, in all honesty, is going to catch ACCM completely off guard. ACCM doesn't even have a barracks up. And, yeah, there's, yeah, there's no barracks from ACCM. So, if, 
uh, any land units come in. And if Hera goes with Cataphracts, which is possible with uh, uh, Scale Barding Armor, then they, he could do a lot of damage to ACCM's economy. And there is a town center going up there for ACCM, which is just out of range of this castle. But these villagers could get shot, and they are, which ACCM is now alerted to this castle. And that's kind of unfortunate for Hera, because now ACCM knows what's going on. There's castle over on this side, and that means he knows that Hera's going to be going for land, and Monastery instantly goes up. There's no time to be building a uh, building a, a barracks and uh, any other military buildings. He just has to go straight for monks, and he does have quite a bit of gold. But Hera with the chain barding armor now. I'm curious to see what he goes for. Probably cataphracts. And yeah, here they come. Cataphracts are coming out. And if ACCM gets a couple conversions, then uh, it might not be so bad. But if uh, ACCM loses his monks, then this could be really bad for him. And he's just now throwing off barracks, abusing the market to advance the Imperial Age. And we'll have to see how effective these uh, cataphracts are. But over on uh, the water, ACCM did get a advantage on the water, and Hera's just kind of given up the water, not really creating any ships, and built a defensive castle right there, but now the cataphract's coming out, and one conversion there for ACCM, and the monk's gone down, and that cataphract's gonna have to run, but uh, forcing a castle from ACCM Siege Workshop and Archery Range being thrown up. All these villagers are idled. And Hera is going to lose uh, his cataphracts. But it's probably worth it. Idling a whole lot of villagers, forcing a castle there. And if Hera loops around to this wood line, it could be really bad because there are so many exposed villagers here. And I don't know what this is about. ACCM running over here with a bunch of bills. Probably scouting for uh, the neutral golds, which are on the map, which he does see, and is going to put a mining camp down right there. But now with the Imperial Age upgrade, Hera's getting Galleon. ACCM hitting the Imperial Age right now. And we'll have to see what he decides to do. And. Okay, yeah. Hera lost the cataphracts, went back to water, getting the galleon upgrade. This is going to be quite a force to reckon with. Yeah, ACCM lost, losing the water, going to lose all of his dogs, and there's really nothing he can do about it. And yeah, look at this. Hera's coming around the side with outposts, trying to find the neutral golds around the side as well. Seeing that, it's going to put up a stable. Just one night from Herrick to take out all these bills would be a huge blow to ACCM's economy. Hera with about a 50 vill lead right now. This is not looking good for ACCM. Really needs to try and do something here. And the light cav upgrade coming now for Hera. I'm uh, probably just going to throw a couple light cap out here onto this gold mine. Take all of those hills out. And these galleons are wrecking havoc on the water. All of these docks are going to go down. I don't even think this is worth fighting. The fast fire ship upgrade did come out, but they're just going to be micro down. This is a lot of galleons. And I don't think ACCM is going to be able to do much about this army. Needs a lot more fire ships than that. And just distracting for now with these fire ships, but he's housed. Can't make any more. And he did kill a few galleons, but not nearly enough to 
bring back uh, water control. Uh, maybe with his next wave, he could try and uh, fight that back. But getting the guard tower upgrade now, putting up a tower right there just to try and defend his shoreline. And these fire ships aren't fighting all together, and he's going to lose them. And this gold mine, there we go. This gold mine's completely destroyed. And there we go. ACCM calls the GG. There really wasn't much you could do at the end. He was behind by who knows how many vills, but about 40. And there really wasn't much you could do. And here's a look at the achievements here. Uh, military, yeah, hair ahead. Uh, more military overall. Kind of went back and forth, though. And, yeah, Hera had way more economy than ACCM did. Got to the Castle Age and Imperial Age upgrade first, which really made a big difference. But good game for both of them, and I think they're going to play a couple more. So, that's it for game one. And I thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys, and I'll see you all in the next match.